is the Emir's Palace in Loring, the citadel of tradition and culture of the people. <laughs> Show me a woman who amazingly had extraordinary gift of royalty by providence. Our great grandfather was Emir Zubairi. Our grandfather was Emir Bawa. Our father was Emir Abdul Kadri. Our husband was Emir Sulugambari. Our brother was Emir Abdul Kadri. And today, to the glory of Allah, our son is Emir. She's a big star that is immensely qualified to be in the Guinness World of Records. The mother of this person to Emir. I look at her as my own mother. Such uncommon pedigree best described her royal majesty. She raised almost every child from the palace, from Professor Gambari down. And she will be greatly missed. The circumstances surrounding the birth and marriage of the deceased made it possible for her to be unprecedentedly royally decorated. We, we, we used to consider blood relationship in the Fulani custom. A flashback to our days in the vanguard of promoting customs and culture of the people will remain part of our legacies. <laughs> Observers say the late mother of the Emir of Iloni left her footprints on the sands of time. She gives little kids 10 cent naira. So any little kid in Iloni close to the palace, they come, as many as they are, they get 10, 10 naira. The unassuming quintessential royal legend who never had any form of Western education but was deeply proficient in Quranic education will no doubt be missed for her wise counsel. Late Aisha Bolanta Sulugambari, Ni Abdel Kadri, fondly called Imma, a Fulani name for mother, was born in 1924, joined her ancestors on 4th June this year and well celebrated in life and death. Good night, Ma.